Ben, very good afternoon to you. Uh, you've met Nicole Gorbachev, I suppose. In many ways, just give us a sense of what the man, the person, on the individual basis was like. Yes, uh, I was a kid watching those rapprochements between uh, the West and the East, uh, Gorbachev and, and Ronald Reagan, and he came across as this slightly sort of misfit, dumpy, but jolly man. And to meet him in the flesh, um, he had this uh, enormous charismatic, magnetic personality um, that overwhelms you. I think many su uh, successful politicians have the same. And um, was uh, absolutely on his ball, um, sharp as a pin, an incredibly intelligent man. And I guess you have to be someone a bit special if you end up being the uh, supreme leader of one of the world's two superpowers. Although when I met him in 2004, this was already um, well past his heyday. Um, and he continued to be a figure in, in, in Russia, but um, he didn't really play much of a political role. Uh, and his, his star has somewhat faded as the whole country moved on beyond him. But as I say, at this event, I mean, he was still a rock star to all of the, uh, the investors and, and business people who were there to came, came to hear him speak. And did, and what, what for you is his kind of, you know, the, 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 the key moments, the key takeaway, the key kind of place in history? You know, he did in many ways bring about uh, the fall of the USSR, but that had lots and lots of consequences, didn't it? Not least of all for where you are right now in Berlin. No, indeed. And, you know, I lived in Russia on and off for 30 years, um, and he has a sort of mixed legacy from the outside, from the Western perspective. You know, he's the man that ended the Cold War, that rapprochement with... with uh, with Ronald Reagan. However, from within, within amongst the Russians themselves, they have a much more mixed um, opinion of him because um, you have to understand that the collapse of the Soviet Union, the end of that superpower state status, was deeply humiliating for most Russians. And of course, Gorbachev brought that around. He, he's whole glasnost perestroika reforms that were designed to um, get the Soviet Union to catch up, modernize it, make it a, a contender in the world and keep it in play. Um, they ran out of control. He lost control of the situation. And that ended up with the Baltics breaking away in 89 and 1990 and the, the coup attempt in 91, which actually brought him down. And so in many ways, um, he's seen by the Russians as, as the instigator of the collapse that followed. And that first decade of so-called democracy, again, it looks nice from the outside, but for the Russians who lived through it, it was absolutely miserable time. I mean, pensioners were living on $10 a month and could barely feed themselves, that the cradle-to-grave Soviet system that Gorbachev um, presided over had collapsed completely. And so if you were 20 years old in 91, then you were fine. New companies were coming in. You could get a job. But if you were 40 years old in 91, then your life was wrecked because um, your job, your savings disappeared. And your future, you had to rely on your children if you had some. So this was a very difficult time. The legacy for the Russian people themselves was actually very mixed. What do you think, he didn't comment on it, he was clearly quite ill in the last couple of months, what, what do you think he would have made of Russia's invasion of Ukraine? He didn't comment on it publicly, uh, although friends of his said that he disapproved of it. Um, having said that, he uh, actually supported the annexation of the Crimea when that happened in 91. Um, but he, um, it's suggested by his friends who've commented on this that um, that he thought it was a bad idea because he could see that the, the catastrophe that this has been for Russia, that the break, permanent break, as far as I'm concerned, now with the West, and the sanctions that will never be lifted in our lifetime, um, which will denigrate the, the Russian economy. It won't be able to grow, and it's doomed to now decades of stagnation. And Gorbachev is enough of a politician, I think, to see all of this, and um, a pragmatist, too. I mean, to find, you know, he was the one who reached out to the West in the Cold War to try and find a, a relationship. And Putin has done the opposite. He's definitively broke off, broken off relationships with the West in such a way that they can't be repaired now. The, the animosity between the Ukrainians and Russians, who always saw themselves as brothers or cousins, uh, is now permanent, uh, and that can't be undone. So um, I don't know. It's a tragic situation, and I think Gorbachev was enough of a, a leading politician to be able to see all of that.